It's such a joy to welcome you here to the Ortways Music Theater for the 29th annual St. Paul Public Schools Honors Concert. The Honors Concert is a celebration, a celebration of choir, orchestra, band, uh, students, their achievement, including visual arts students as well. We believe in the importance of honoring the artistic voice of young people in our community, and we are proud that our partnership efforts affords us the opportunity to do this in such a magnificent space. The opportunity for us to come back together and make music in community is, um, is fabulous. It's necessary, it's a crucial part of our, of, of our lives, and it's something that, that, um, that we've been missing for the, last, for the last two years. It was nice playing in a big band again, because at, at Johnson Senior High, COVID hit pretty hard, so a lot of students are scared to come back and play, so playing in a big band like this again is it really good, it's really fun. that we did today with the Honor Orchestra was profoundly about having them step into their roles as equal human beings so that then we could begin to collaborate. They're just soaking up information, soaking up all kinds of musical ideas. They're offering their own ideas. Um, we've seen examples today of student leadership of students collaborating and helping one another, helping me. <laughs> um, it's just been such a delight to work with them. So the larger purpose of this event is to support artists from school to professional. And this is a great segue to show the students, hey, you could be on our stage as a professional one day. I think the conductor was uh, a conductor at Mankato and I am also trying to pursue a major at Mankato. So I'll see if I do want to enter their marching band or their concert band there and I'll, I'll see if I'll check it out, yeah. Walking on the stage was kind of nerve wracking but after, I did, after singing, it felt like all the way, I just, I felt so good, it was, it was, it was good, yes. This is an, an ensemble full of students with a wide variety of life experiences, different languages, um, in addition to being from eight different high schools. It felt fun to perform with my friends tonight, even though we're part of different sub-vocal units, but still standing on the same stage, it was really enjoyable. It was already wild seeing the stage as we were practicing on it, but seeing the audience filled with people will just be kind of nerve-wracking, but just awesome. I'm just really thankful that St. Paul Public Schools and the educators are so committed to this extraordinary event. Um, I, I know how powerful it can be for students um, to, to have an experience like this. So. I'm just grateful for everyone um, during such a difficult year still coming together and making it happen. And so to have this opportunity for students to be able to be here and inhabit the world that the professionals inhabit for, for a day and to perform on that stage um, is, is life changing for students because again it puts them on an equal footing um, and it gives them something to, to, uh, to aspire to and I think that it really drives home the point that they are just as good as anyone else. They are just as good as a, as a professional. They have the right to make great art and in so doing, allow that experience to be a part of their, of their human development.